because we cannot separate what the Dulles brothers did and who the Dulles brothers were from what we have done and, and what we are. I repeat, they are us. We are them. They reflect America. And if we want to understand what America is, what America has been, and what America could be, we need to focus on the messages that the Dulles brothers are now giving us. Thank you. Those who want to ask questions, please, there's a microphone. Uh, I object to the conflation of your thesis that they are us and we are they. They represent not us. They represented their clientele at Sullivan and Cromwell. You describe them as the elite. I need to know why you describe, why you conflate the interests they served, which you described as the elite, as they are us and we are them. We are not the elite. We are not the ruling class they are when they advanced their agenda in Vietnam, when they advanced their agenda in Indonesia, when they advanced their agenda in Iran, when they advanced their agenda in Guatemala, they were not representing us. They were representing their clients, their corporate customers who were investing in the service provided them by the, by the legal firm of Sullivan and Cromwell who were paid mightily to not represent us, but to represent them. Among other things you left out of your narrative was the collaboration with Nazi intelligence officer Reinhard Galen. And there lies the problem of what we face now, is that the CIA basically is a Nazi organization. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and you left out the Warren Commission. I didn't want to tell you everything because then there's no reason for you to buy the book. If he was senile in 1961, why did LBJ put him on the Warren Commission? Uh, let, me, let, me just make, let me just make two comments about what you said. I think, first of all, your point about whether they really are us or not is a very good one. Uh, I, however, would like to offer this. I think it's a little too easy for us as ordinary Americans to say, well, there's a certain elite of bad people who do bad things, but we're not responsible for that. We're not part of that. They, they are not really representing us. I, f I use the word we uh, after, not by accident, after consideration, because I think it's important for all of us to understand uh, we are citizens. We are agents. We have the ability to speak. And therefore, it's too easy to say that couple of people pushed us off in a bad direction and no one else wanted it. Actually, I think the Dulles brothers were reflecting during the 1950s what most Americans wanted. Now, did they want this because of what the media had told them and what the political climate was and because they'd seen so many Western movies about how there's just a few bad people in town and you need one good man with a gun to shoot them and everybody's then happy? Uh, you can answer that for yourself. But I think it's dangerous to uh, try to blame bad things in the world on, on just a few bad people. Uh, and as for the uh, collaboration with Nazi Germany, you're quite right. It wasn't just that uh, Alan Dulles uh, hired uh, the former Nazi spymaster Galen to be the essentially the overseer of uh, the new CIA spy ring in Central Europe and in Germany. Uh, but in the 1930s, John Foster Dulles was the principal agent in the United States uh, for raising money for corporations and banks uh, during the Nazi era. Uh, he uh, sold almost $1 billion worth of bonds for companies in Germany during the Nazi era.